Hi, this is Wayne Miller, and we're going to do an export of uh, images in Lightroom to a JPEG and put it in the same folder. Okay, so there's two ways to go about it. We want to select the images first. You highlight them and shift click or individual control click uh, on them. Uh, you can go down here and hit export and it will bring up the export menu. You go up to Lightroom presets and you want to burn a full size uh, JPEG and you'll notice it'll go up to a CD or DVD. You want to go up to the top and export it. Uh, this time we're going to put it in the same folder. So you can export it to a specific folder. Your drop-down menu here, you can choose a folder later. Uh, you can use the uh, same folder as the original photos, which means you can, you can export them back into there. Or you can uh, do a, uh, a desktop. Now, I'd probably suggest, um, you know, you can choose a specific folder if you want to do that but these are your options you can put it on your desktop if you're going to give it to your clients and it's easier to find then you can always uh, import them back in but let's uh, let's go up here and let's choose the uh, specific folder okay and right now it's uh, it's going to an iPad folder so we need to choose the folder so that means we have to go back to this drive uh, that we're in which is in the D drive and and then we go and we go down to downloads and we go to Wayne and then we create a new folder and we'll call that JPEG And then we'll select that as the folder. And <clears throat> you can put it in a subfolder if you want, but we're not going to do that. We're going to put it right in there. Uh, you can rename them if you want right now. Um, and maybe let's just give it a custom name called it. Uh, and you might want to use your studio name. <clears throat> I, uh, <clears throat> I use underscore on that and start there, uh, whatever number you want to start. So this is what it's going to look like. Wayne Miller Photography one of five or you can just use a uh, custom name and sequence which Wayne Miller photography dash one and so forth image format will go down here you want a JPEG you want color space sRGB quality 100 now you can resize them if you want or these right now they're for full size so I'm gonna resize them and I'm going to do the longest edge. You can go pixels or inches. So just for drill, I'm going to put in six inches right there. I'm going to leave the resolution native. Uh, I'm going to go here and sharpen for screen, standard. Uh, I want all my metadata in there. Uh, you can remove local info if you want, your choice. Watermark. Uh, if you want to watermark it, click on here uh, and drill down and if you have a, a logo that uh, that you like to use um, I would uh, I would put it in there so and you want to see what it looks like let's go back in here and edit watermark and it should bring up a menu and you can see what the watermark looks like uh, and you have options over here to choose a different one and always use a PNG because it's uh, uh, <laughs> it's transparent. If you use a JPEG, you're going to get a white uh, or black background on it, you know, and uh, 
you know you can uh, you can change the opacity here if you want uh, you can change the size you can make it bigger or smaller I generally like to just leave it where it is you can fit it and also you can move it by dragging these around and you can anchor in a different place but I'm happy with where it is right there cancel out of there now if you have these all set add it to your uh, collection here of exports uh, your presets because once you go through and set this then uh, you can uh, you know create a new folder and let's call this uh, JPEG exports because you may want to do different sizes so that is created that one and then I would just name it with the uh, JPEG uh, six inch long and uh, you can and I put C for copyright whatever that you recall on it or makes you remember it okay so now you have it uh, right here and you're ready export so we're exporting these five files uh, to a six inch uh, JPEG and they're exported okay so now we go back and look in the folder and I go well they're not there how come Rotten room did the work well here's where you want to go is you want to right click synchronize folder Lightroom recognizes there was folders done uh, there's a, f a new folder and you synchronize it and here comes the import thing Mac may be a little bit different so these are telling you the new photos that are there you import them and we go over here and we go to the drop down under Wayne and here are the five JPEGs what a handsome guy with my logo on the right hand side you can do this for uh, for your clients with or without the logo any size you want 8 by 10 12 by 18 4 by 6 5 by 7 build your normal size export JPEGs and you can uh, add with or without your logo if they're going on Facebook so I hope this uh, tutorial is helpful for you this is Wayne Miller Photography signing off until the next time thank you oh uh, you can find me right down there wmphotos.com thank you